Do you want to create stunning realistic videos like this with Kling AI? In this video, I will show you the exact step-by-step -step process, perfect for creators, filmmakers, or just anyone curious about AI. So let's jump right in. Open your browser and head over to Kling AI. If you don't already have an account, no problem. It's super quick and easy to sign up. Once you are logged in, you will land on the main dashboard. It might seem a bit daunting at first, with all the options and settings. Don't worry, stick with me, and by the end of this tutorial, you will know exactly how it all works. First things first, let's make sure we are using the latest version of Kling. This is super important because version 1.5 comes with some amazing new features that we will be exploring today. So go to the AI video section, and on the top left corner, click the drop down menu and choose version 1.5. This step ensures you are getting access to all the latest features of Kling AI. So what makes version 1.5 so special? One of the biggest improvements is the ability to create videos in crisp 1080p resolution, giving them a professional and polished look. But it's not just about the visuals. Version 1.5 is also much smarter. The AI is now much better at understanding and interpreting your prompts. This means when you describe what you want in a video, the AI is more likely to deliver results that match your prompt. Now that we know what makes version 1.5 so exciting, let's jump into creating our first video. Kling gives you two options for making videos. You can describe what you want using text, or you can start with an existing image and bring it to life. Let's start with the text to video method. On your screen, you will see a box where you can type out your ideas. This is called the prompt box. Think of something fun, or interesting for your video. For example, let's try a lemur wearing a red vest and a hat on the Las Vegas Strip playing a guitar. Now, just below the prompt box, you will see some settings. This is where you can tweak how your video is generated. You can choose the duration of the video or change the aspect ratio. Once everything's set, hit that generate button. And here is the generated video. Take a good look at what Kling just created. If you use the same prompt I did, you will see a lemur playing a guitar on a busy street. With people strolling in the background, it looks so real. That's a huge step up from the older version, which sometimes missed key details or made the background look unnatural. Pretty impressive, right? Now that we have created a video from text, let's explore the exciting image to video feature. This tool can turn any still image into a lively animation. Here's how it works. Click inside this box and choose a picture from your computer. For the first example, I will use this photo of some knights to create an action scene. Once the image is uploaded, go down to the prompt box. This is where you tell the tool what you want the knights to do. Let's enter, knights moving forward in action, and then hit generate. Once your video is ready, hit play and take a close look. You will actually see the knights moving forward in a super realistic way. The dust in the air adds this foggy, cinematic vibe, making it feel like a battle scene straight out of a movie. Cool, isn't it? This really shows how impressive version 1.5 is at understanding and following your instructions. It's not just about animating the image, it's interpreting your prompt and creating a realistic action based on it. Kling 1.5 truly shines when it comes to creating lifelike, believable animations. So, let me share something cool I have been playing around with lately. I tried this prompt, a young woman standing in a field, flinching as a sudden burst of wind tousles her hair. And the result was amazing. It captured the prompt perfectly. Her sudden movement, the wind in her hair, and the uncomfortable expression on her face. It looks so real, like watching an actual actress in a movie. Isn't that awesome? Next. I went for a romantic vibe with a scene like a couple sitting at a small cafe table, leaning in for a kiss as their coffee steams in the background. The little details, like the subtle movements and the steam rising from the cups, really bring it to life. But looks like there is an extra finger generated. So, you will need a few tries to iron out those weird little issues. Now that you have got the basics, it's your turn to get creative. You can go wild with ideas like a chef cutting vegetables, a panda playing guitar, and even milk being poured into a glass. The possibilities are endless, so go ahead, experiment, and have fun.
Now let's get into some advanced techniques to get even better results. We will start with creating reference images using Flux. I will be using Glyph, as it offers Flux Pro Ultra for free. Once you log in, click on Build at the top. Then click here to Start Building with Glyph Blocks. Now from the list, choose Text Input, and rename the block to Basic Prompt, and the input label to Enter Your Prompt. Now, as Glyph supports LLMs like Claude and ChatGPT, you can use it to improve your prompts for the best results. So, select Text Generator LLM and rename the block to Prompt Enhancer. In the Prompt field, enter. Take the following image prompt and improve it so that it generates colorful, high contrast images. Then, add the basic prompt block inside quotation marks. Under Advanced Controls, choose a model. I will go with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now, add another block and choose Image Generator to create your image. Then, link it to the Prompt Enhancer block we created earlier. In the Image Generation Model dropdown, you will get all the Flux variations. But as we want Flux Pro 1.1 Ultra, and Glyph is offering it for free, let's go ahead and select that. Next, under Image Size, if you are making content for social media, a 1 to 1 ratio works great. But if you are aiming for a cinematic vibe, go with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And that's it. On the right, you will see a prompt box with the label we created. Enter your prompt. Here's how this workflow works. It takes the basic prompt you enter, enhances its color and contrast using Claude 3.5, and then generates an image for you based on the optimized prompt. Cool, isn't it? So let's enter this prompt, and then click on Run This Glyph. As you can see, the tool first analyzes the basic prompt, enhances it, and then generates an image based on the optimized prompt. Check this out. Here's the image it created. Look at the realism, the colors, the contrast, and how beautifully it handles the lighting. I will leave a link to this workflow in the description so that you don't have to create it yourself. Here's a quick tip. When crafting your prompts, be as detailed as possible. Include the style, mood, and any specific elements you want in the image. The more specific your description, the better Flux can bring your vision to life. Head back to Kling to turn your image into a video. Open the Image to Video tab, upload the image you created in Flux, and you are all set. But before we proceed, let's talk about some key settings. The creativity slider lets you control how much freedom the AI has. Slide it left to stay close to your prompt, or right if you are feeling adventurous and want it to experiment. Next, choose a generation mode. Standard is faster, but the professional mode delivers better quality, perfect for detailed images. For video length, I would suggest starting with 5 seconds for better result, as 10 second clips can sometimes produce inconsistent results. Finally, I will add this prompt and click the Generate button. Now watch how Kling brings your image to life. Experiment with different ideas to discover all the amazing things Kling AI can do. The more you practice, the better you will become. Keep an eye out for new features and updates in future versions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.